So, here you are. You have an important semester around the corner, don't you? Or maybe I am wrong and you are now going to start studying something new, but your brain, it just does not focus no matter how hard you try to convince it. Well, guess what? After completing this video, you will have some hidden secrets in your hands that were used by geniuses of the past. Now, before getting too excited about becoming Isaac Newton, just keep in mind that every brain is unique, so what works wonders for one person might not be the perfect fit for another. However, these tips and tricks are guaranteed to boost your focus and propel you beyond your past limitations. So, without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first step to laser focus is training your brain to unfocus. Sounds counterintuitive, right? Here's the secret. Sit down with the intention of studying, but instead of diving straight into the material, grab a pen and paper. Now, unleash your inner storm. Jot down everything your brain throws at you. Worries, to-do lists, daydreams, and be brutally honest with yourself. Once you have a brain dump on paper, analyze each item. Ask yourself, why is this distracting me? Categorize these distractions as either in your control or out of your control. Now, once you have them categorized for the distractions that are in your control, you must start with the eliminating rule. Yes, you heard it right. You must eliminate one by one. If it is a looming deadline, such as a submission form that has a deadline of tomorrow's EOD, just submit it immediately and get over with it. Or if you need to pick up your child within one to two HRs after studying, do not just sit down to study, because firstly, you will not be able to focus, secondly, you might delay, and your child might end up panicking. So in that one, two HRs, you can take care of other minor tasks or just make a summary of what you need to study. But if you have some dreading chores, such as pending laundries that need to be done, delegate or postpone them temporarily. Remember, the worst case scenario of ignoring a controllable distraction should guide your actions. Can you afford the consequences of inaction? If not, deal with it now before it steals your focus. Now for the distractions that are out of your control, you must acknowledge these distractions and let them go. For example, if you have worries like what will happen if everyone reaches their goals, but you are left behind. Or what if everyone succeeds, but you fail? Believe me, every human has a different race. You just follow your rhythm. Your competition should be you. Situations that are not in your control should not be your area of focus. What will make the change is how you are dealing with what is in your control and how you are dealing with it. Once you have done analyzing and eliminating the mentioned, you will realize half of your brain fog is gone. Once you have dealt with your brain fog, you have to make sure you are well fueled. You must make sure you are not hungry. Yes, you heard it right. On an empty stomach, your brain will focus on anything except studying. Eat a balanced and filling meal three times a day and have healthy snacks ready to munch before any studying session. Now you have a clear brain and a well-fueled stomach. After that, make sure you are hydrated. Have a water bottle ready. Add some refreshing herbs like mint or lemon to enhance the properties of water and keep it by your side. Once you are prepared, now you have to make sure the room where you will sit down to study is decluttered, is well lit, and has a good temperature and smells good. If your room is smelling bad, no matter how hard you try, you will just not be able to focus. <laughs> After doing all the above, your brain should be at a stage where it is light and is ready to absorb the information that it's going to get fed. Once it is at this stage, you must immediately perform the following brain hack for better laser focus. First of all, you have to stop multitasking. That is why we have done the eliminating rule in the very beginning as our first step. But also, while studying, you must focus on one subject rather than multiple subjects at a time. Your goal should be one at a time. Keep in mind, a rabbit that chases multiple balls ends up with nothing. 
once you are clear about what subject you are going to study. Find your focus techniques. Some people can focus in complete silence while others benefit from background music. This is entirely on you, so find out what works best for you. Once you have your focus techniques, take a notebook and start mentioning the important topics. After writing down the topics, dedicate the number of hours and intervals between each one and then start studying. Once you have started studying, you have to then train your brain to apply the next hack, which is called the Zygarnik effect. Start studying, but then stop before you have completed that topic entirely. Take your break. Now, while you are on your break, you will realize your brain is urging you to go and get the remaining part completed as soon as possible. And this is what we want. This is the stage where our brain should be. If you are at this stage, congratulations, you have completed decluttering and training your brain. If not, do not worry. Go back and do the mentioned again. This is the stage where your brain is now ready to laser focus and complete your studies or any important task on time. You will take your break, but your mind will urge you to complete the unfinished topic or part as soon as possible. Remember, it will be hard at first, but it will work and will definitely work. I have students who have gone from zero to hero. Applying this formula of mine. The idea here is to not let your brain find any excuse from completing what is most important to you. And to do that, you have to first make your brain understand that what is important needs your focus completely. Now here are some tips for an extra layer of laser focus. Take a few minutes to meditate before studying to clear your mind and sharpen your mental blade. You can try deep breathing exercises to increase your brain's ability to focus. Take a breath in for four seconds, hold for two, and breathe out for six before studying. Schedule short breaks, five, ten minutes, every hour. Get up, move around, grab a healthy snack, or do some light stretches. Returning to your studies after a break will allow you to tackle the material with renewed focus and energy. Watch or record yourself studying with others online. Knowing someone's watching helps you stay accountable and focused. Always set achievable study goals and celebrate victories, small or big. This positive reinforcement keeps you motivated and focused. That is all from my side. If you have any other technique, PLLs do share it in the comment box and let others benefit from you. Until then, keep working smart and hard.